nothing says HD port like a 240p movie cutscene with the wrong music track, am I right? I remember this robot scaring the shit out of me as a kid. Just a little Canadian toddler. Having nightmares about the robot from a movie licensed N64 game. Surely a common experience. Man, this house is a mess. There's toxic slime in the basement, there's loose fires in the kitchen, there's automatic saws in the garage. No wonder we never saw the dad in these movies. He probably died in this final destination hellscape. For some reason, uh, the N64 version of this game had a bug where it would play the wrong sound effect on the save screen. So every time you saved, it would just go, Hurr! It feels wrong to save and not hear that. I remember this kite also scaring me as a kid. In retrospect, I was kind of a chicken shit child. Try as he may, Buzz's shit-eating grin cannot save him from the plane about to firebomb him. Okay, this cutscene actually does have the correct music from the movie, but the timing is wrong. What's up with that? Oh my god, Buzz Lightyear is dead. <laughs> when I was a kid, I watched Toy Story 2 religiously. Uh, we had it on DVD and that was a big deal. Not VHS, we had the DVD. Um, and so that's why I know it and this game so well. But I'd always have to skip the first couple minutes because I didn't like seeing Buzz Lightyear uh, being blown apart like he was a goddamn caca demon. My mom still makes fun of me for it. I think it's pretty rational as a child to not want to see the death of one of your favorite characters. Flaming nuts flying everywhere. Girders just randomly swinging around. Classic worksite behavior. Osha would love this place. I don't think the N64 version had these silly little faces. I love how they aren't rounded out at all, so they just look like his head's been fully pulled off like a Mortal Kombat fatality and is being now used to save your game. What a dire image. You guys remember the part in Toy Story 2 where Buzz fought that sentient trash can full of slime? Yeah, it, it was in the movie, uh, it's just that most people call him Kelsey Grammer now. This audio actually is correct, but it's missing some effect tracks, so I have to assume that they were using an early version of the movie as cutscenes. That's funny. Come on. Come on. Let's go, baby. I am Buzz All that time playing the Yakuza UFO catcher has finally paid off. Agent of if I ever saw one. Are you going to say that for every enemy? Agent of Zerg if I ever saw one. Agent of Zerg if I ever saw one. Okay, I, I get the gist, Buzz. Can you please find something new to say? You've seen so many agents of Zerg now, you know what they look like. I remember being in elementary school and someone telling me about how crazy it was that you could see Samus's face in the reflection of the screen in Metroid Prime. And my response was, why is that special? Toy Story 2 on the N64 did that. And they didn't believe me. Well, as you can see, I was correct, so Eat shit, guy who I haven't talked to since grade 4, and recently got married. He might have a successful social life, but y you know what? I was right about Toy Story 2 on the N64, so who really wins? Defeat the clown top. 
I don't think I even need to make a joke. They basically write themselves. Why did Al install a cannon in his room? I mean, clearly he wasn't getting any because he slept in a train bed in a room based on a children's toy from the 50s. But that cannon would really be a secondary deal breaker. If I went to someone's room and I saw that, well, I might not stop, but I would think twice. You fool. You brought two guns to a spinning fight. Rookie mistake. It's the oldest goof in the book. Yet another casualty of the spin versus gun matchup. I got vanilla Sagat numbers, you know, don't even try at this point. The flag! No, I shouldn't stand on it. Sorry boys, but the playthrough's over. As long as the flag's on screen, I have to salute it. So I can never move from this spot. Hey guys, we need a mini boss for this airport themed level. Who do you choose? Oh, we chose the first thing that you think of when you think of airports. A blacksmith, straight out of Army of Darkness. Why didn't they use the plane boss here? I don't mean to brag, because this is a game for children, uh, but I got all 50 tokens. So if you played this as a child and you didn't get all 50 tokens, I just want you to know that I am smarter than you in your child form. I don't know why I said child form. I could have just said as a child, child form sounds worse. You guys ready for the most high effort final boss ever? That's right, it's just three mini bosses again. A plus, best game on the 64. You may be asking, Goose, why did you play this? And the answer is uh, that I had this when I was a kid and I saw it on PS Plus. And sometimes attempting to recapture the magic of your childhood naivete is worth playing a game for literal babies. Be warned, I will do it again uh, and it will be with games that are worse.